have you back tonight? Hopefully you guys already feel full and then ready to learn with me tonight. Okay, so. All right, let's see. Uh, good evening, Mr. Amin. Okay, let's see. Uh, give me one second, okay. Uh, allow me to share the material that we're going to learn tonight. Okay, so tonight we're still doing the chapter seven. So chapter seven. Okay, very good. Let's see. Chapter seven talking about a visit to the doctor's office. Hopefully we can finish this by today or maybe in a couple of meeting let's see so let's do the role plays uh meanwhile while uh while waiting for the rest of the class to join us and then get their self ready and then i'm going to assign the dialogues to you guys and uh, if you guys have any question you can just uh type on the chat okay guys let's see let's see all right right here i see a couple of hands already being raised so let me assign to you guys i'll have okay i say uh is this uh Miss Fanny, okay, I guess, huh? It's uh, it's M M Fanny. I guess that's Miss Fanny, huh? All right, give me one second. Okay, let me see. I'll try to assign different dialogues every week so you guys can have the chances to uh try all or do the pronunciation differently every week. Let me see. Okay, I see. Uh, Laura, dialogues num Laura's dialogue number one, two, three. I'll assign that to uh, Mr. Amin. And then I have clerk number one. And then uh, nurse. Clerk number one and nurse number four and five will be taken care by Miss Fanny. And then I have nurse number one, two, three for Ray. Let's check it out. And then I'll have Laura's number four, five, six for uh, Rosella and then nurse number six and seven for Miss Miss Fu Miss Fu okay see one two five okay allow or let's give a couple of minutes for the rest of the class to join first okay guys i see nani here nani you are doing uh laura's dialogue number seven and eight okay nani i have one two six seven more spots available on this role, please. It'd be nice if we can see uh we can see new names, guys. Push yourself. Try. I'll uh we'll learn together here. Okay. 
uh, can uh, help us help you to guide you to do the uh, pronunciation and also the intonation. Okay, so um, let's see. I have Abe. Abe, you are doing doctor number one, two, three. Okay. Thank you for joining the role plays, Abe. And I'll have six more spots available, guys. Let's see if uh, any questions being pop up here. Okay, allow me to check it first. Good evening, guys. Okay. Oh, I see Jane here. Maybe Jane's not ready yet. Uh, okay. Wait for Nani. Okay. Let's see. More coming. Oh, I see Miss Lily. Okay, there you go. Well, Miss Lily, I'm going to give you the dialogues of doctors number four, five, six. Miss Lily is taking care of doctors number four, five, six. I have five more spots available. Let's see. Okay. I see Jane here. Jane, you are doing Laura's number 9, 10, 11. Laura's dialect number 9, 10, 11 for Jane. Four more spots, guys. And once we're done with this uh, dialogue, uh, the role plays here for the conversation, we'll continue with the um, uh, grammar for this chapter, which is about tenses. Simple tenses. Simple present tense, and then uh, present progressive tense. Okay, some teachers calling that as uh, present continuous tense. Okay, progressive or continuous this is the same. Okay. Uh, Let's see. One second, okay. Okay. Let's see. We'll wait another two minutes, okay? Maybe uh, the rest of the class, maybe you want to have this uh, conversation, dialogue, role plays. Trying to do the pronunciation. Instead of just talking to yourself, okay, try to talk in the class. That way, um, I can try to guide you, okay, to do the right thing. Okay, let's see. Put away the Fear, feeling, you know, being uh, like uh, afraid to make the mistakes, you know, you know, because uh, when you're learning about language, that is the first enemy that you have to get off your head. 
you have to go through that stage by making a mistakes either in a uh, pronounce it, writing or listening anything, okay, before you become perfect in it. Okay, so just be confident and then because everything has, everybody has to go through that part. All right, so it's uh, another minute, okay, guys, otherwise I'll assign the rest of the dialogues to the one that already raising hands, okay? So I'm gonna have you guys doing double of the dialogues. And then that means more opportunity for you guys to improve yourself. Nani, or Nani already. Okay. Already got a part. Okay. All right, guys. So let me see. I'll have four more here available. So I'm going to have uh Laura's number 12, 13, 14. Laura's number 12, 13, 14 for uh Miss Penny. And then doctor number seven eight nine for Mr. Amin. Laura's number 15, 16, 17. Laura's number 15, 16, 17. And for Rosella. And then Ray, you are doing doctors, dialogue number 10, 11, 12. Okay, let me repeat again, guys. Laura, number one, two, three, is taken care by Mr. Amin. And then Mr. Amin is also doing doctor number seven and nine. And then Miss Penny, you are doing four. Number one, number five, also four, 14, 14. Ray, you are doing a uh, nurse number one, two, three, also doctors number 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'll pull this up and then you guys gonna have it. Okay, the numbers, the uh, nurse number one, two, three, and in front of the uh, Rosella, I'll pull this up. Rosella, you are doing Laura's number four, five, six, and Laura's number 15, 16, 17. Miss Fu, you are doing nurse number six and seven. Nani, you are doing Laura's number seven and eight. Abe is doing uh, doctor's number one, two, three. Jane is taking care of Laura's number nine, ten, eleven. Miss Lily is doing doctor's number four, five, six. All right. So that's not Okay, allow me to unmute you. Try to have the least background sound. That way, the rest of the class can listen to you. Good evening, Miss Susan. Each other. Good evening, Miss Amin. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Very good. Uh, that's good to hear that. You're doing great. Okay. Let's <clears throat> see. Great evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Guys. Good evening, Miss. Nice to hear your voice, guys. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How's it going? Uh, it's going great. Doing what? well, right? Yes. So when somebody's asking, how's it going? Okay, uh, you guys can answer. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's going. Sometimes people just say, oh, it's going means like it's 
uh, the situation is just like average or you can say oh it's uh it's doing great like that okay. and so like that instead of oh i'm fine like something like that okay you can say, oh it's going great blah 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 like that okay excuse All me right, miss. Guys. Oh. excuse me miss yes what i like for me who's talking miss Fu. miss Fu. What dialect? You are doing nurse number six and seven. Yes. Pardon me. Uh, nurse number six and seven. Okay. Got it. All right. Miss, sorry, Miss, sorry, Miss Rosella as Laura number four, five, six, isn't it? Oh. Uh, Laura number four, five, six, and also Laura's number 15, 16, 17. 15. Got it? Okay, okay. Okay, anybody else not no. clear? No. Okay, perfect. No. All right, uh, Miss Penny, whenever you're ready. Okay, Miss. Okay, let's go. Let's start there. Oh, sorry. Mr. Amin first. Huh? Okay, go okay. ahead. Good morning. I have an appointment with Dr. Clark at 8.13. Miss here. You. Penny Laura Miss number two. No, are you doing clerk number one? Also nurse number four and five. Clerk, clerk, clerk. Let me pull your record. In the meantime. Please set in and have a seat. Laura Nicholson? Yeah. Follow me to room A, yeah. please. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> what are your reasons for seeing Dr. Clark today? Well, lately I have been feeling tired and also generally I have had really bad headaches and an and upset stomachs. On top of that, I have had this persistent cuts for the last two weeks, two weeks. When did you start having the same time symptoms? I started I start feeling tired about two months ago. Then a little bit after the headache came, I got the upset stomach long before feeling tired. Are you talking my medication? Only my <laughs> vitamins. What vitamins are you taking? I am taking a multivitamin tablet and extra vitamin C every day. Okay, let me take you without seeing. How am I doing? Everything is good. Normal blood blood pressure and no high temperature. Please wait here for a minute. Dr. Clark will be with you in a moment. Thank you. <laughs> Doctor One. I don't, oh, Abe. Uh, Abe is not here anymore, huh? Let's see. Let me check. Okay. Maybe he got cut off his internet. Okay, I don't see Abe here. So, okay. Good morning, Laura. Oh, 
Good morning, doctor. I see here that you started feeling tired two months ago, and then you started having a, you started having bad headaches. You have also had had an upset stomach and a persistent cough. Did you run a fever too? No, doctor. Let me do a quick physical checkup. Please, Please take a deep breath. Please take a deep breath. Hold your breath and exhale. Do it again, please. Where there are eh, were there any change changes in your diet or your weight lately? I ate the usual things, but I lost five pounds recently. Did you suffer from insomnia? Well, it is pretty hard for me to fall asleep when I go to bed. I also woke up many times during the night. Do you drink? Do you smoke? No. How are things at work? There, there, was, there was a change of ownership three months ago, and I had to work a lot of overtime even during the weekend. It looks like you have pneumonia, pneumonia. Other than that, I do see any problems. You are probably under stress for changes at work, and the stress causes headaches, upset stomach, and sleepness. For now, try to relax and exercise. It may solve your problem. Come back to see me again if the symptoms persist. And I will do further tests. I am going to give you a precision for your pneumonia. Are you allergic to any medication? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Take this medication three times a day after you eat. Also, I want you, I want you, I want you to have some blood tests. Stop by the laboratory on your way out and have the nurse draw your blood. I'm anxious to know my cholesterol level. When will I get the result of the blood test? The, resu the results will be available in two weeks. Don't stress yourself. I think everything will be okay. Thank you, doctor. You are welcome. All right, guys. Let me hold this and then we'll do a little review, guys. All right, there you are. All right, pay attention to the word. Okay, here we have the uh, dialogue of uh, clerk, clerk number one. Okay, clerk's dialogue number one. Pay attention to the word racker. Okay, let me pull your racker. Okay, now racker here is a noun. Let me write it here, okay? Because we have two, the record, okay, record as the noun, then you, and then the other one we have re record, record as the verb, okay? Let me pull your record, 
Okay. Now I am recording her voice. Record. 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 Okay. So uh it the the the, the, the spelling is the same. But because the function uh, in the sentence is different, then the pronunciation only for this word, I think. Okay, uh, I can. Uh, uh, so far, I think this word only is really rare. That is the same pronunciation, uh, same spelling, different pronunciation. Okay, so right here. Let me pull your record. Ah, uh, uh, she's recording her his voice. Okay, so uh, try to listen. Record, 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 record <laughs> is for a noun, and then you have recording. Okay, and then and then here you you guys uh it's. This is office here. Uh, it's a noun, so it's a. Let me pull your record. Okay. Jadi untuk uh, kata rek, uh, yang tulisan uh, eh, eh, kata ini record ini, ini tergantung uh, sangat jarang sih dalam bahasa Inggris ya. Uh, ini uh, tulisannya sama, ya. Tulisannya sama. Kemudian uh, cara pelafalannya itu agak berbeda karena posisi uh, dalam kalimatnya ya. Untuk kata record ini yang uh, berfungsi sebagai kata benda, itu cara pelafalannya seperti ini. Let me pull your record. Record. Oke. Okay. Record. Itu untuk kata benda ya. And then... Uh, Bila di dalam kalimatnya itu kata tersebut berfungsi sebagai kata kerja, ya, yeah, and then you gonna pronounce it that record, oke. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tony is recording the class, oke. Okay. Listen, record, 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 yes, different, oke. Okay. Uh, So far, I think it's only this uh, uh, this word, okay? Jadi, uh, uh, seingat saya ya, uh, hanya uh, kayaknya sih ada cuma kata ini ya yang saya ketahui ya sampai saat ini yang uh, pelafalannya berbeda meskipun tulisannya sama ya. Seingat saya hingga saat ini ya. Kita nanti kalau ketemu lagi ya nanti. Alright? So pay attention, record, record. And then I have Laura's number three. Laura's number three, pay attention to the word cough. Cough. I have had this persistent cough. Cough. Batuk. Cough. 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 When you have the H, it is, uh, it depends, it, uh, if the word Ending with the H, you're gonna have that like a like an air coming out from your your mouth when you say that persistent car, persistent car, like that. Okay. Next, I have Laura's number four. Pay attention to the word headaches. Headaches. Okay, plural of headache is headache. Headache. And then we have, uh, I got the upset stomach, stomach, stomach. We have the H. There's like an air coming out, stomach. Okay. Next, I'll have Laura's number six. Laura's number six. I am taking a multivitamin, multivitamin, okay. multi, pay attention to the word multivitamin. Okay. Next, we have nurse number six. Okay, let me take your vital signs. Pay attention to the word vital, okay. vital. 
And then I'll have now Laura's number 12. Well, it is pretty hard for me to fall asleep. Pay attention to the word pretty, okay? Now, pretty here is the same when, oh, the girl looks so pretty, okay? Instead of pretty, okay, we say pretty, okay? Same sense, uh, same words, same uh, spelling, different meaning, okay? Same pronunciation. It is pretty hard for me to fall asleep. Here, the pretty means very hard, okay? It's, it means very. And then the other one is the girl looks pretty on that shirt, okay? Pretty, pretty, uh, uh, chantik, yeah? Uh, looks beautiful like that, okay? And then uh, the pronunciation stays the same, pretty. And next we have doctor's number nine. All right, yes. Pay attention to the word pneumonia. Pneumonia, it looks like you have pneumonia, okay? So instead of pneumonia, we're gonna pronounce that as pneumonia because the P is silent. Jadi untuk kata pneumonia di sini uh, huruf P-nya itu silent ya, jadi tidak kedengeran seperti itu. Jadi kita uh, uh, melafalkannya seperti pneumonia, pneumonia. Oke. Okay. And then another word pay attention to sleeplessness. Sleeplessness. Oke. Okay. Sleeplessness. Sleepless means uh, kurang tidur. Nah, kemudian untuk kata bendanya kita menambahkan ness. Sleep, sleeplessness. Oke. Okay. Sleepless means kurang tidur. Nah, untuk kata bendanya kita cat, uh, untuk sleepless itu kata kata sifat and dan kalau kat, untuk menjadikan kata benda Then we're gonna use the nest because here there is a word the stress causes headaches, upset stomach, stomach and sleeplessness. Kekurangan tidur seperti itu kalau bahasa Indonesia nya ya untuk kata kerja uh, untuk kata bendanya. Kemudian we and then we have a further further. All right, and then another word here on the still on the doctor number nine. And I will do further, further tasks. Further, now, further, further, further. Okay, another H here. Okay, H is kind of tricky. Okay, further. Now, since the H is in the middle, it's not at the end of the Uh, word so there is no air coming out from the uh, the mouth okay so it's just further okay the t is silent okay guys jadi uh, t nya jangan terlalu jangan terlalu kentara kalau ngomong t nya ya. kalau kalau bi kalau dibilangin silent itu uh, huruf tersebut saat diucapkan uh, tidak ken tidak kedengeran gitu okay further further okay and then uh, last one we have doctor number 10 stop by the laboratory on your way out and have the nurse draw your blood okay another draw here okay draw same pronunciation same Spelling different meaning, okay? And then we have draw here. Draw is not like the kid is drawing a mermaid, okay? Draw there and the same spelling, same uh, uh, same pronunciation, different meaning. Draw kal kalimat tersebut berarti menggambar. Kemudian kita ada di sini. 
have the nurse draw your blood. Of course, the nurse uh, suster di sini tidak bisa menggambar darahnya ya. If you say here, draw your blood means uh, mengambil darah. We draw, mengambil darah. Okay. So, we have another draw, uh, another word here with the draw. Uh, mom withdraws money from the ATM. Okay, that's with the we withdraw, withdraw, menarik. Okay, menarik uang dari ATM. Okay, so something when you have the draw, except uh, beside the uh, drawing something, uh, drawing like picture or something, that's uh, most likely it's gonna uh, have the meaning of pulling out. Okay, getting out something. Uh, jadi ada uh, maknanya itu di dikeluarkan begitu ya kalau kata draw itu oke okay, seperti di sini draw your blood means the blood is coming they drawing it draw from your body jadi uh, darahnya dikeluarkan dari tubuh kemudian ada kata withdraw the, uh, from ATM jadi uangnya itu dikeluarkan dari uh, mesin itu oke okay, dari bank account oke okay? that's it guys very good Yes, that's it. All right. Now, allow me to share a different. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's check it out. We did the expression, comprehension test, and then discussion. We're done last week. We have the grammar review talking about verbs. Uh, in this chapter, we're uh, reviewing the present tense because I believe you guys already understand what is present tense okay and then also we have the present progressive tense sometimes called present continuous tense okay right here let me explain this really quick from this now present tense okay present tense is Oke, okay. nah kata present tense ini merupakan uh, tenses yang paling dasar di uh, dalam bahasa Inggris ya. And seperti uh, present tense ini uh, biasanya digunakan untuk menunjukkan uh, swap action uh, show the action is happening now. Oke, okay. jadi menunjukkan sesuatu itu sedang berlangsung saat ini. Like, uh, I want to get a blood test. I do not see any problems. Okay. And then also, ini uh, it's also indicated true fact. The sun is bright. Jakarta is the capital city of Indonesia. It is cold in the winter. Jadi yang kedua itu menunjukkan fakta. Saat kita berbicara tentang fakta, itu kita menggunakan kata, uh, uh, present tense. Oke, okay? next. Used to indicate habits or customary action. Oke, okay. Susan bites, always bites her nails. Oke, okay. means her, uh, she bites her nails in the past, today. And then she will continue to bite in the future, oke? Okay? Jadi ini yang ketiga itu present tense digunakan untuk menunjukkan suatu kebiasaan ya. Kebiasaannya itu ya dilakukan di masa lalu, dilakukan saat ini, dan kemungkinan juga masih dilakukan untuk masa-masa uh, 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 akan datang, oke? Okay? I go to the supermarket every Saturday, oke? Okay? Jadi dia uh, merubah mempunyai kebiasaan pergi ke supermarket setiap Sabtu. Oke, okay, next. Also, present tense can be used to replace a future tense after words that indicate time, such as when, until, as soon as, before, or the words that indicate condition, such as if or unless. 
Nah, kemudian yang uh, penggunaan yang keempat ini biasanya digunakan untuk uh, saat kita melihat ada kata-kata tertentu, kata-kata spesifik yang mengindikasikan tentang waktu ya, seperti kata when, un until, as soon as, and before. Nah, selain itu juga saat kita menemukan kata-kata yang mengindikasikan suatu kondisi. Seperti ada kata if or unless. Nah, kita lihat contohnya. I will do further test if the symptoms persist. Nah, di sini kita melihat ada kata if. That's the indication of condition. So, the next sentence is going to be using the uh, present tense instead of the will here, the future tense. Okay. Now, the next one, we see the sample here, the doctor will see you when he's done with Miss Anderson. Okay. Now, di sini kita melihat ada kata when. Okay. When is the word that indicate the time. Okay. It indicates the time. So, the sentence follow that is using the present tense. Jadi saat kita melihat ada uh, kalimat yang di depannya itu future tense yang menggunakan uh, kata will, kemudian ada kata berikutnya, ada kalimat berikutnya, clause berikutnya itu yang di, digabungkan dengan kata-kata berikut ini ya. When, until, as soon as, before, if, or unless. Then the next sentence, the, the next clause will use the uh, present tense. All right. So next we have present progressive tense. Present progressive tense. Kalau kita uh, sometimes uh, it's uh, it's also called present continuous tense. Okay. That's uh, the formula for that is the verb plus in subject plus verb the uh, the base verb the base verb that's what uh, most of the people call it okay and then plus in okay so that's really easy to remember when it's when it's progressive or uh, continuous you're gonna see the ink on the verb. Uh, it's usually to indicate that the action is ongoing at a particular time. The action begins at some earlier time, is in the progress at the indicated time, and probably continues for some time after that. Jadi ini penggunaan present progressive tense itu untuk menunjukkan uh, actionnya itu uh, kejadian. Uh, Kata, ber, kata kerjanya itu sedang berlangsung saat ini. Oke, okay? let's see. I am teaching the class right now. The class is listening. Oke. Okay? Now, next. Let's see, we have the example here. I am taking vitamin C. Dr. Clark is seeing Laura at the moment. Okay, allow me to share the uh, uh, additional, okay? Additional explanation of that. All right, there you go. Okay, uh, for this uh, additional explanation, I will share to you guys after the class. And um, hopefully, um, Mrs. Tony's uh, assistant will be able to uh, share to you guys, okay, tonight. Otherwise, just uh, please wait until the following week, okay? Now, right here, you can see this is for fact, repeated or uh, habit, okay? Uh, for the generally true. Okay. 
Okay, another uh, addition here is for schedule events in the near future, okay, right here. For present simple tense, okay. The flight leaves at 6.55. The party starts at 9. What time does the morning lesson start? Jadi ini digunakan untuk sesuatu uh, acara yang sudah uh, waktunya itu uh, terjadwal dengan pasti ya. I meet Peter on at 7 on Fridays. And then the next one we have, okay, that's six. That's the additional, okay. And then let's check it out on the uh, progressive tense, present progressive tense, okay. Usually uh, we use this when uh, doing something at the moment, okay. Happening at the moment. It's the same thing. Okay, that's just additional past tense, okay? You guys can uh, read that, the past tense, but it's not the focus of this uh, chapter, okay? Right here, we'll see here. Pay attention to the uh, present tense and progressive tense only, okay? Look, present tense, I live in Chile right now, means you're right now, it's permanently, you live there okay and then progressive if you use the progressive i am living in chile for the moment you means for the moment right now so, so it's temporary okay i live in indonesia okay permanent right now okay and then i am living in thailand okay so it's mean temporary only when you use the progressive, okay? okay if that's then you have the positive, negative, and then uh, questions. And then let's go on to the exercise. This is gonna make you guys more understanding with that. Better understanding. I blah 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 to the gym every week. Okay, another word, uh, another uh, explanation here. Okay, when you see the words, okay, every every day, every Sundays, and then always, and then uh, sometimes. Okay, usually most of those words is uh, are being used for present tense. Okay. Like, okay, so every Sunday or uh, Sundays, okay, I, uh, I go to church every Sunday. I go to church on Sundays, okay? That's the same meaning, okay? That's usually use the present time. All right, guys, so let's check number one. Number one, I have Rosella turn number one. I go to the gym every week. Oh, okay. Your answer is A, huh? A. Okay, give me one second. Hold on. Okay, there you go. So I also agree with Rosella that our number one is a go. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rosella. Next number two. Do you want to come with us for dinner? I'm sorry, but my drama class blah 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 at nine, and I and it doesn't finish till eleven. Miss Lily, please. Do you want to come with us for dinner? 
I'm sorry, but my drama class st starts at nine and doesn't finish till 11. Okay, very good. Because this is this about schedule, okay? Schedule will, uh, doesn't mean uh, we, know, we, we always use the present tense most of the time, okay? Thank you, Miss Lily. Next, number three, I'd hate to live in London because it blah, blah, blah all the time. Nani, please. I had to live in London because it rains all the time. Very good. Thank you, Nani. Number four, I, blah, 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 my cousin from Germany tomorrow. Do you want to come along? All right. Jane. I meet my cousin from Germany tomorrow. Tomorrow. Do you want to come along? Um, B. All right, very good. Thank you, Jane. You're welcome, Miss. Okay, next, I'll have number five. I can't talk right now. I'm blah, 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 really busy. I'll call you later. Okay. Next. I'll have Miss Penny try number five, please. Okay, Miss. I can't talk that now. I am really busy. I'll call you later. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, number six. Number six, the service at the new restaurant is exceptional and e blah, 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 reasonably inexpensive. Miss Fu, please. Yes, miss. The service at the new restaurant is ex sure. exceptionally sure. and it yes. is recently in in inexpensive. Okay, so this the service at the new restaurant is exceptional, exceptional, exceptional. and it Ex is reasonably inexpensive. Inexpensive, Mrs. G. Okay. Uh, pelayanan di restoran baru itu exceptional. Maksudnya ini sangat luar biasa dan harganya pun uh, tidak mahal. Nah, gitu. Kira-kira artinya begitu. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Hey, you guys can understand. Uh, you have a better understanding of using the uh, present tense. Very good. Okay, let's continue to our num exercise number two. Exercise number two. Now, you guys just need to decide whether the sentence using present simple tense, present tense, okay, or present progressive tense. The train always blah, blah, blah on time. Okay, let's see, Ray. The train always leaves on time. Leaves, okay, leaves, okay, because one train, right? Very good. Thank you, Ray. Okay, so since here, we the trick is, you can see the word always, when there is always, most likely is going to be present tense. Okay. What's the matter? What blah 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 cry you? Rosella. What's the matter? Why are you crying? Why are you? Crying. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Wow, very good. You guys have good understanding. Number three, that's strange. 
they blah 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 know to watch TV. Then I'll have Miss Lily. That's strange. They are not to watch TV. Okay. They are not to watch TV. They are not watching. Okay. Watching, when you watching TV. Two, yes. Uh, when you are. Uh, this is just a trick for to trick you guys okay so when you use the uh, not and then a uh, verb you're gonna ignore the uh, the two okay all right very good thank you next number four he blah 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 not to speak very good english nani please mm -hmm. He, 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 blah, 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 he, 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 he is not English. speaking very good English. Okay, this is a habit. Okay, they're talking about habit. Mm -hmm. Okay, because when you speak, stop. He do not speak. He do not speak. Oh, okay. Remember when he, she, it, you do, you use does instead of do. He, she, it, because only uh, one person. So instead of do, you use does. Okay. So he does. He does. He does. He does. Not speak English, very, very good English. English. Yes? Okay, so when you guys are when you're talking about languages like that, it's a uh, most likely is going to be a uh, uh, call a uh, present tense. Okay, I speak three languages like that. Uh, he doesn't speak yeah, uh, Japanese like that. Languages is. It's going to be a present there most of the time. Okay. All right. Thank you, Nani. Next number five, please. Be quiet. I blah blah blah. My homework. Jennifer, please. Please be quiet. I'm doing my homework. Very good. Please be quiet. I am doing my homework. Okay, right now. Okay. Okay. Now, number six. Where blah 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 live they? Ani, please. Where are, live, where are they live? Okay. Now, live here itu dalam bahasa Indonesia nya artinya tinggal ya. Kamu tinggal di mana? Oke, okay. Tem maksudnya tempat tinggalmu di mana? Gitu, oke. Okay. Now, when you're talking about live here, okay, the word live, okay, uh, you most of the time is gonna be a uh, present tense, okay. Where did they live? Okay, uh, really being asked when you uh, where you live previously, okay. So when you use the saat ini kamu tinggal di mana, would you like? Seperti itu bahasa Indonesia nya, bahasa Inggrisnya where when uh, they what kind what kind of uh, uh, you gonna use do or does ah eh, do do what do they do live? yes ah so you uh, when you're talking about live uh, not using the present or progressive okay you use the uh, simple tense present tense. So, where do, where do they live? Yes, mereka tinggal di mana? Mereka tempat tinggalnya di mana? Kira-kira begini, where do they live? Oke, okay. like that. Okay. Any question? Uh, Ani? Let's try number, uh, number seven, Ani. Number seven? 
Clifton John uh, uh, was playing music. Clifton John, I no no. Clifton John is playing music. Yes, very good. Listen, listen. John is playing music. Dengar, uh, John sedang uh, sedang um, apa ya bah? Uh, sedang memainkan uh, musik musik apa uh, mungkin sedang memain bermain instrumen or something like that is playing music uh, memutar lagu seperti itu ya oke okay. nah oke okay. thank you Ani oke okay. uh, oke okay. let me see oke okay. we still have quite a bit oke okay. Because we have uh, that's uh, exercise number two. We have exercise. Okay. Uh, let me see. We have until exercise number four, guys. Okay. So uh, since this is already uh, the time is showing eight or two, we'll continue the rest of this exercise next week. Okay. I'll try to share this tonight and then. You guys just uh, wait on it and then you can uh, try to answer it before we start the class next week. Okay, guys. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. Um, I'll end the class tonight. Okay, guys. And then see you guys again next week. Yes, next week. Okay. And then... Uh, just wait for the the file, okay? And then you, uh, try your thank uh, you, your guys, okay? Thank okay. you, thank you, guys. Thank you, 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 thank